we have advanced very far in science and technology. There is almost nothing that science and technology cannot do today. We have not merely gone to the moon, we are now planning to go to Mars and maybe even further. At the pick of a phone, I can talk to my relatives, my family, anywhere in the world. I go to my computer and the whole world, the virtual world is there right in front of me. There is nothing that is hidden today, nothing that is secret. Everything is revealed, everything is known. And so science and technology has got many, many beautiful aspects about it. And yet, science and technology cannot explain how I can talk to my friends and my relatives millions of miles away, but I cannot talk with my next door neighbor who lives by my side. Science and technology cannot explain how I can accumulate so many things until my home is overflowing with things. But I cannot think of giving out and giving away even one of those many things despite the fact that I am not using them. Science and technology cannot explain how I can keep the resentment in my heart and let my heart get corrupted, let my body be feeble and not forgive and not let go. Science and technology is beautiful and has achieved much. But like Hamlet says to his friend Horatio in the play Hamlet, there are more things in heaven and on earth, Horatio, than are dreamt of in your philosophies. And the meaning of this statement is that yes, science and technology can achieve beautiful things. Science and technology can take us very far. Science and technology can make life easier for all of us. And yet, when it comes to the most important things of life, like love, like giving, like caring, and like selflessness, science and technology has very little to say. In the Gospel of today, Jesus says to us that we can read the signs of the times and we can know when it's going to rain, when it's going to be hot, and when it's going to be cold. If we can do all of these things, why can't we open the eyes of our head and the eyes of our hearts? Why can't we open the ears of our head and the ears of our heart? Why can't we open our minds and look and see a retrospection on our lives and ask ourselves whether we are living as we ought to? Do I need to make a change in this life of selfishness? Do I need to give some of those accumulated things that I have? Can I be a little more loving? Can I be a little more caring? Can I be a little less selfish today?